Good morning, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talk. So, everybody's having a great day. Um, got a great video planned out for you guys. And at the time of filming this, it's Friday morning, approximately 2 a.m. Um, and gold is looking really good. Back only $5 away from its all time high closing. Not its all time high during trading day. However, I think we're building up momentum again. And we're probably going to see it continue to climb higher and higher. And a lot of people out there want to say, oh, silver ain't doing nothing or gold, it's, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like you're going to get rich off it. People want to downplay what's really happening. And what's really happening, I, I feel bad saying this in a way. A lot more people are moving away from the dollar. A lot more people know what's coming. A lot more people know that there's uncertain times coming. And the sheep or the majority are hearing these nonsense things and they're buying into it and they're missing what I believe will be the greatest opportunity of my lifetime um, when silver really does have its big jump. Even today, someone said, uh, I think it's more likely that in a comment that we'll see $30 silver before $26 silver. Because some people are following my little side deal that I had made with a member um, that we will see $30 silver before we see $26 silver. Now, some people are following the charts. They're simply expecting the charts to play out. But, you know, the charts don't always play out the way they're supposed to. There's a lot going on in the world that wasn't going on before. And I, I think it's important that we think about that. And I mean, this member that I have the bet with, he is a good friend of mine. I hope to meet up with him one day. I, I don't share the names of people that I do deals with um, or bets with, you know, but um, he's a good friend. I just think that we're not going to see $26 silver. And I think now with gold pushing, if gold closes at an all-time high today, I think it will definitely have some pull on silver either today or next week. Now, will gold keep going up or will they try to beat it down? Who knows? We are getting more and more uncertainty, in my opinion. Uh, it, it's almost like everything is a powder keg ready to go off, whether it's right, left, he, she, um, Democrat, Republican, um, male, female, white, black. I mean, it, literally everything. <laughs> there's so much divide. And, you know, when when there's this much divide, eventually things just pop off, flare up. And when that happens, we could see drastic moves in stocks. Uh, I'll say drastic drops in the stock market. Uh, we could see huge correction. Bitcoin taking a big correction today, dropping, I think it was like $3,000. Um, it's just a start. This is a start. Uh, as people see more and more Bitcoin and cryptos coming down, I think more and more people are going to pull out and they're going to move to gold and silver. And it's going to cause it to go even higher. But a lot of people out there are, are buying into this hype that it's not going to go. It's not going to. It's just just more manipulation. We're going to see it go up a little and then they'll manipulate it back down. Eventually, they're not going to have the ability to manipulate it down. People think, oh, it can go on forever. I actually had someone that he... he leaves negative comments about gold and silver and says uh, gold and silver ain't never going to go anywhere. They can manipulate it forever. I said, oh, so now you admit that they're manipulating it. Well, that's not exactly what I mean. We'll edit that comment is what he had done. And I was like, what in the world? So, you know, it's, it's interesting how things are playing out. But we're, what's important, I think, that people need to see is gold is continuing to truck higher. And as it goes higher, it will eventually take other metals with it, specifically silver. And you still got an opportunity to be able to pick up some cheap silver. I wish I had picked up a little bit more. I probably could have squeezed myself a little bit more, but I, you know, I, I went in kind of hard and then I ended up a little frustrated because I was waiting on that gold package, which came out to be a horrible video yesterday. I apologize. Um, but I had already made the video. Once I watched it in the morning, I was like, too late now. 
so I had to kind of post it. But basically, in short, I had gotten a random package deal with someone where I was getting six one tenth ounce coins, guaranteed to be gold. And that's all I knew. And when I got them, I was super happy. Uh, I in the video I spent more time talking about not knowing what the six coins were. Uh, one of them was obviously the British Britannia, which I knew. One of them was, I guess, what's called a, I don't know, like a Britain's crest. It had the lion on one side, the unicorn on the other side. And then four of them was the gold standard coins from the Royal Mint, which was pretty awesome because I hadn't seen any of them. And they have a little bit of a higher premium. Uh, but the package had been lost for almost three weeks. It was floating around in the mail. And I was so frustrated because I couldn't really blame the person. Because I could see it bouncing around the country on the tracking. But on the flip side, I was a little frustrated. And they put this signature where every person that touched it had signed for it. And so, therefore, it, it was just a headache. It was extremely slow moving around. And I was like, man, just put some insurance on it and send it. Um, so, basically, that's why I kind of slowed down on buying again. Because one, I had charged up a bunch of stuff and two, I had that package. But I really think anybody that bought this past dip is going to be looking back at that saying, I got lucky, I bought it. You could have bought it as low as $27.50 uh, if you were lucky enough to catch the dip. I know, I've talked to some people that said they picked up $27.80, $27.90. That's not counting the premiums, but I mean, you're going to pay premiums no matter what. The opportunity is slowly diminishing. And if you listen to people, because here's the thing, the lies and what they're saying is not what's happening. And I know some people can go out and, and leave comments on this video and say, nah, you don't really know, you can't. And you're right, I don't know. But I know that more and more people are working their way into gold and silver. And it only makes sense. Yeah, they, they listen to the news and stuff and they get skittish a little bit. Because I, I talk to a lot of these people on a daily basis. Or well, I should say maybe a weekly basis. Because I, I talk to almost everybody once a week that I, that's in my circle that I talk to. And as I talk to them, I, I hear these things about, oh, I'm slowing down on my buying because they're saying it's going to dip even lower. Okay. That's cool. And oh, well, I mean, last week I went to buy some stuff off somebody and the guy changed his mind and didn't want to sell because the price had came down too much. And I told him, I said, I think that's smart. I think that's smart. I wouldn't sell if the price is down. And I think more and more people are going to realize that and they're not going to sell. And then I talk to people that say local coin shops near them. I talked to one person. He's like, I got five coin shops near me and they're buying at less than spot now. And maybe that's true, but until when? Until the next big pop and then all of a sudden everybody's going to be frantically buying. But here's the thing I've always said. Keep an eye on the coin shops that you're working with. If they want to buy something off you for $25 an ounce and then they want to sell it for $35 an ounce, that's a little bit of an excessive markup, in my opinion. Look at what their markups are. Are they cheating you? Uh, you know, are they are they trying to get your coins for nothing so they can sell it to someone else for some huge amount? And I'm not saying that all coin shops are crooked. That's not what I'm saying. I'm simply saying watch how they do business. You can spot the honest ones. I went into one, I was testing the guy out because I didn't know him. He was a new place. And I went in and I said, I have a tube of these, I don't know, they're like American Eagles, I think they call them. They're like silver dollars of some sort. And I'm, I'm playing stupid a little bit. And the guy said, oh, yeah, they're silver American Eagles. They're one ounce pure silver. He goes, honestly, I probably wouldn't sell them if I was you. It, it wouldn't be worth selling them right now. You ought to save them. Uh, silver's probably going to go up higher. He said, but if you want to sell them, I'm definitely interested in them. And I said, okay, I appreciate your honesty. And that's exactly what I would have said. So I didn't sell them, but I wasn't going to sell them anyway. I just wanted to feel the guy out, see how he would talk if he would try to, oh, they ain't really worth more than a dollar. I mean, I've heard some crazy stuff. I really have. Um, and people will take advantage. 
I brought in a uh, to one pawn shop a two hundred and fifty dollar certified nineteen eighty seven San Francisco Silver Eagle two hundred and fifty bucks. You scan it. Guy said I'll give you twenty bucks for it. It's really no different than one of these Silver Eagles. It's it's no different than this really. He said it's pretty much the same thing. So you know, and people just don't they don't catch on to it. So you need to be mindful of what you're doing. Don't buy into the hype. Uh, we're going to see silver and gold go up higher. It's not financial advice. It's my opinion. If you guys are watching and you enjoyed this video, please take a quick minute, hit the thumbs up button if you didn't already. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We're going to see it go higher. Don't think for a minute that it's going to get beat down over and over and over again. Too many things are pointing to higher prices. And they know. Big banks know that. They know what's coming in September now. They're going to cut interest rates. Therefore, big banks and other countries are going to be getting rid of bonds. They're not going to be buying bonds anymore. And what are they going to be doing? They're going to be buying up gold. Why? Because gold is a safe haven asset. Now, I understand I'm saying gold. I'm not saying silver. But here's the thing people got to consider. When gold goes up, silver usually gets pulled up with it. I mean, as of right this minute, here, let me pull up real quick the numbers on gold and silver right now. We've got gold trading at um, $24.64 right now, $17.20 higher. But we have silver trading at $29. That's 40 cents higher. Platinum's up eight bucks, nine seventy-eight. Palladium's up five bucks, nine forty-one. All pretty much going higher. All the metals are going higher. Copper's up, nickel's up, aluminum's up, zinc's up. I guess uranium's down a little. Um, crude oil's up 56 cents. Um, and Bitcoin still falling down to uh, 64,000 on the Bitcoin. So, I mean, people are going to realize, unfortunately, that that's it. I know uh, some people out there are going to say Bitcoin's a great investment and this and that. And uh, if investment, I probably wouldn't say a gamble. I would say, just because it got approved for ETFs does not make it a good investment. I actually heard that argument yesterday from somebody. Oh, no, now that they're approved for ETFs, that makes some good, safe investments. No. I mean, when the stock market was young in its heyday, we saw 1929, that huge drop down. I mean, those, were those safe investments? Yeah, they were safe, but they were overvalued and people were overmargined. I mean, look at the Bitcoin deals now. You can lease out your Bitcoin, uh, loan it to somebody, and then loan it to somebody else, and then loan it to someone else. What does that remind you of? Fractional reserve banking. Someone deposits $100, and then they can loan out 90 of it. But yet, they still have it on their books, essentially. It's, everything is ridiculous, the way things are. Um so with that being said, it's not going to be a long video today. It's kind of a short video, but I wanted people to watch what's happening with gold and silver. Uh, be prepared. Uh, it is the weekend. It is the first of the month. It only makes sense that we'll see a little bit of an uptick on gold and silver. I won't be buying any gold and silver this weekend, uh, only because I think that this uptick right now that we're seeing this weekend is mostly big money trying to push it up just a little bit higher right now for the weekend because they know a lot of people will be buying on the weekend and they want to get in a little bit cheaper. Does it mean it's not going to go higher? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I want to save every penny I can get. And if I can buy on Monday or Tuesday a little bit cheaper, then I'd rather buy on Monday and Tuesday. Um, you know, in the long run, is it going to be up a whole lot higher? Absolutely, I believe. But I'm looking for the dips. I'm looking for the deals. And so I'm going to hold out for another week. It looks like the coins that I'm after. There's only two that I'm after right now that I'd like to get a, another batch of. I'd like to get another batch of the Legendary Warrior uh, Joan of Arc. And I'd like to get another batch, if I can find them, of the 80th Anniversary D-Day coin. And I will say coin because they actually sent me an email uh, explaining why that D-Day is not around. It's a coin. Um, because in Aldeny, for those of you guys that know what I'm talking about, about that coin. Do I have one here? Yep. So this was the coin that I was talking about in a 
past video. It's the 2024 Aldeny D-Day, uh, King Charles III. Beautiful, I'm going to say coin now, even though some people want to say round. It, it's been up in the air. But the company had wrote back to me and said, no, this is a one pound coin in Aldeny. It doesn't say one pound, but they said it is a one pound coin for Aldeny. And, and I may be saying that wrong. If I am mispronouncing uh, that, I apologize. But they said that it is accepted for one pound only there. And because they are a, I guess you call it a piece of the royal family, the land is, uh, it's owned by the royal family, then uh, that's why they consider it a coin. And so I was like, interesting. Um, but it didn't say one pound on it. And that's why I was like, hmm. But it is accepted as a pound, they said. So I'd be curious. I haven't found anything to counter that. So I'm going to roll with it as a coin. It does definitely look like a coin. It's beautiful design. It, you can see with all that little micro print, uh, it makes it probably a little harder to counterfeit. But I can't imagine anybody trading this in for one pound. But then again, I don't know. I heard people trade the Mexican Libertads in Mexico. They'll go to the bank and they'll turn them in for spot price. And I'm like, man, I need to go to Mexico. I'm not super far from Mexico. I need to zip down there and cross the border and then go to a bank and just say, hey, just out of curiosity, do you ever see a coin that looks like this? I've been trying to get some. And see what they say. I mean, I would love to. Oh, yeah, we get them all the time. Here you go. Did you want some? They're, I don't know, so many pesos a piece. That would be awesome. If anybody knows the answer to that, please let me know. I've never heard that until just recently. So with that being said, we're going to wrap up the video. I am super tired today. It has been a long day. And the sun has been taking its toll in the heat. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope we're going to see prices go a little higher today, even though I would not count on them being 100% sustained this weekend. I expect we could see it fizzle back down to the $29 range um, next week one day. So we'll see what happens. And that will give me a couple extra days to figure out if I want to put another order in, if I want to target silver, if I want to target gold. Gold always tends to go up faster and first. And silver usually all of a sudden just explodes in price all at once. So uh, that will come, I believe. And if people have the stomach and the patience to hold out for it, then they'll keep stacking silver. And if they don't, hopefully they ain't selling it. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys again next time on T-Square Talk. Take care. Have a great day. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. But I'll see you this weekend anyway. So take care. Bye-bye.